Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's great to be here with everybody. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Leanne. Uh, and, uh, Tim, for those who don't know me, uh, it's an honor to be here with the uh, leaders of our movement. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Yeah. This is how God thinks about us. <coughs> We're a chosen people. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's always exciting when, uh, when you meet sold-out disciples who you didn't know before. Yeah. <laughs> and And... Discover people who are also a chosen people. And uh, I've been so excited to get to know uh, John and Emma. Uh, we're like brothers. I mean, we're like, I mean, you wouldn't maybe genetically put us together. Uh, but uh, he got the good looks. Uh, but, um, but John is an incredible brother, a dear friend. Uh, just, just from the short period of time, a month or so, two months, that we've been able to get to know each other. Um, this is a, a genuine evangelist. He's a genuine leader in God's kingdom. Uh, he is a prince in the kingdom. Uh, he is someone who loves God, who loves people, uh, genuinely cares about ministry. I, I'm somebody who loves to talk about ministry and, and read scriptures about ministry. And, and John is like, you know, a, a best friend in that area to me. Because he just loves to talk about ministry and God's people and the church and how can we improve the church and how can we serve the church. And uh, I just want to say how, how special you are, bro. How grateful I am to you. Uh, what a treasure to, to have a brother like this come in, like a meteorite out of nowhere, yeah. who can lead regions, lead super regions, yeah. oversee churches. For, for having faith in, in people like me and John. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've made a thousand times more mistakes than John, but I've, I'm just very grateful for, for your belief in me, bro. Um, and uh, continually investing in me and throwing the dice with me and just, just um, being there uh, for me, but also for John. And uh, what an incredible uh, payoff uh, for your faith. And uh, I hope that I continue to be a good investment for you. I'm just so excited to see people like John come to you and, uh, and uh, just be able to serve in an incredible way. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, bro, it's just the beginning. So exciting. Thank you so much for grabbing this precious uh, region. Uh, these are these are precious. <laughs> Yeah. 
Come on, Prince Stan. I, I, I hope I hope you appreciate who you have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And uh, then you've got one of our dear daughters in the faith right here, Joy, one of the early Portland converts. Woo! And then it was not surprised to me this morning. I was I, I, I fellowship a few people, and uh, I said, you knew that uh, James Haynes was the famous singing Baptist. Uh, no, no I've never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> in the early days of, of Portland, the, the, the church was scattered. Yeah. When Lynn and I got there, our first Wednesday night, we had 25 for service. Uh, a month later, we had the Evening of Atonement, and more came on back. <laughs> but up until that point, there had been no baptisms. Things were just, the people's faith was completely shattered. But week by week, there was... There's baptisms returned, and we knew that God was blessing our repentance. Well, come, I believe it was October. Was it November? <laughs> come, come November, uh, this uh, young man at the time, <laughs> he's introduced, you know how we do the baptisms, people say some great things about you, and how awesome your heart is, which is all true. <laughs> And then James gets up there, and he's about to share something, but then he just breaks out in song. <laughs> and he goes, when I woke up this morning, I didn't have a doubt. And let me tell you something, that man's lived that way the rest of his life. And I remember writing the bulletin article that week entitled, The Singing Baptism. <laughs> Of course, it took Jennifer a couple more months to make it on the kingdom, but anyway, we do love you a lot, your sister. Um, it's, it's so great to have uh, Mario and Michelle here. Woo! Rico and Janelle. So fantastic to work with the family and dear son and daughter in the faith. We're doing an awesome job here. Come on. Today, our, our, our real joy is to introduce you formally, John and Emma Fawzi. <laughs> Disciples. Can you imagine the group holding that out? 
That's what's going to happen, guys. Yeah. Woo! Now, in that, because some of our churches, like the Manila Church, the Boo Church, we call them actually the Metro Manila ICC or the Metro Cebu ICC, Metro LA doesn't work, but one of the old sectors was entitled Metro Heights. And so I'm here to share with you today that you have a new name, a new identity, but get this, a new charge. Woo! In the day that John took on over, he asked if we could have the downtown LA to be added to the South Central region. Wow. And so as of today, your new charge includes not just what we've been calling Southland, but it is going to be downtown LA. trained as a marriage and family therapist Woo! and so I know there's a lot of needs in the church and um, I really believe sisters open your hearts to yeah. her let her help you get strong with the Lord so we all get to heaven but I'm so grateful as Leanne shared it's, you know when you have the Holy Spirit you just get close to people quickly and when you have the same purpose God brings you together, and I feel like God has done that with Emma and I, and I'm so grateful because I love you all very, very much, and I know that it's really important that we are a bright light to this city, and I believe you have been, I believe you're trying to be, but we need training, all of us, and I believe John and Emma have been brought to us by God to help train and build a great ministry that's going to turn this whole place around. Hear her heart at communion, so but I love you all very, very much. It's a great joy for Kiss and I to be back with you. Thank you. Woo! I uh, I consider John one of my best friends, Come on. and uh, I hope that you can appreciate the gift that God is giving you Amen. in this gallant brother and terrific sister. Um. I do think that it's going to be very important that you open your wide, open wide your hearts. Because any time there's a change, sometimes our, our hearts can hold back a little bit. But this is the time to do that. Yeah. Amen. This is the time to open your wide your heart and fully embrace the body. Because they're going to have a new charge, not only taking care of this region and the other two regions, but also, uh, Tim is giving them the charge of the Northwest United States. Woo! We need to understand here, guys. We've got to get behind John and Emma, and it's time to multiply disciples, multiply leaders, multiply Bible talks, multiply regions, and multiply churches. Emma, and Emma's going to share her heart at that time, yeah. and then for contribution, John's going to share his heart. Come on, but this time with the family, let's stand up together, let's get arm in arm, and let's uh, welcome our new region leader. We love you with the love of the Lord, we love you with the love of the Lord, we sing. Thank you. 
Oh, my God.